In our last couple videos, we talked about how to make a default template in CPQ, and then we talked about how to add custom sections so you could start to customize that default template. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use quote terms beyond the standard quote terms that are currently available on your template. So just to recap, we have these terms and conditions that are available for all templates um, on the template itself, but if you would like to have more independent terms or conditional terms even, you're going to need to add another section for terms and then you're going to have to link this to the template terms content. This can get a little tricky, so we're gonna stop and do some rewinding to look at how these template sections have worked in the past, and then we'll talk about how they're working with quote terms. So first we're going to choose in our template content, we will choose quote terms and continue. And once we get here, we can call these term one, and we can leave the rest of this default and just save. Now, this is not a very exciting piece of template content, but it's designed to work with another area of the system. So let me just duplicate my tab so that we can keep track of where we were. And I will go to all of my tabs and search for quote terms. Here we have quote terms. When I click into this, right now we don't yet have any quote terms, but I'm going to say new and then start to fill this out. Now that we've filled out all of the information for this quote term, we can move forward with connecting it to our template content, and then we can also test how this is going to look when we generate our template. We've given this a print order of 10 so that we can have this show up first and we're numbering by tens. We are giving this a status of approved. If we had a process for approving terms and having new um, legal terminology in here, we could have this be in a draft, but for the sake of this demo, we're going to have it be approved. We have not yet added conditions. In fact, we'll do that in the next video. So right now we're going to say conditions met all, but there are no conditions. So this shouldn't have an impact. We're marking this as active so that we can start to use it and test it and we've connected this to the template content we just made, uh, term one, which is located right here. This is the same item that we're connecting this to, and I just put new term here. We've also kept this open, so this is not locked right now, which means that people will be able to edit them should you give them that ability. Let's go ahead and save this. Now we have our quote term saved. It's linked to this quote term template content. And if I go back to my template and I make a new section now, let's say I want this to show up as our quote term. This could be section four. Display order is 40 and our content is our term one. When we go ahead and save this, now we have our template with our section for quote term and the content for our term and the quote term itself linked to that content. So it's a bit of a daisy chain, but let's see what happens when we preview our template again. Now if I scroll to the bottom, I see new term here. That is exactly the term that we originally listed here. I hope this video has been helpful for showing you how you can create 
additional terms that are linked to your templates. In our next video, we're going to make these terms conditional so that they show up only when you want them to show up. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.